The following deck installation is at the Denver Botanic Gardens and utilizes Level It brand Bison Deck Supports System and Bison Ipe wood tiles. The Denver Botanic Gardens has been a favorite Denver destination for over 55 years and offers an unforgettable artistic garden experience as well as a living laboratory for education and acclaimed conservation and research programs. They are installing a rooftop garden and pedestrian space to inspire and promote the green roof concept. Prior to viewing the installation video, it is recommended to watch the deck planning, specifications, and CAD details section in this video series. Tools needed at the job site include carpenter's pencil, chalk line, two foot and six foot levels, string or laser level, hammer, rubber mallet, and hacksaw, jig and circular saws, tape measure, construction adhesive, drill or screwdriver when installing wood tiles, and extra shims. When installing a deck with bison deck supports, the perimeter must be contained by a structural wall attached to the building structure. Prior to this deck installation, a wall was built to separate the deck area from the garden area. The new wall was then properly flashed and incorporated into the waterproofing assembly. The gap under the wall allows water to flow to the roof drains. This installed wall incorporates an overlay so that wood tiles can firmly abut to the wall and serve as a finished edge. While there are no drains under the deck in this installation, typically tiles are installed over the roof drains. If a roof drain impedes normal pedestal placement, refer to the drain pedestal placement detail for further instruction. View the deck planning video of this series to learn more about our CAD details and specifications. Prior to installation, clean the roof surface of any loose debris. For optimal results, it is important to ensure a square layout before and during installation. For smaller decks, verify at roof corners on whether the decking surface is square. Measure three feet in one direction of the wall and four feet in the other. If the corner is square, the distance should read five feet. Verify that the deck is square in other corners. Snap guidelines on the substrate for reference during installation to maintain a square layout of tiles. Refer to the layout details or drawing for guideline placement. Wood tiles will be cut along the top perimeter, so there are full tiles along the wall. Guidelines on the roof surface will assure an accurate layout. Extra guidelines at the start of installation are important to ensure a square layout. Trim the pedestal's base with a jigsaw to assure a tight fit of pedestals along the perimeter. Remove pedestal top and trim along preset guides. Keep pedestal base rounded and avoid sharp corners that could damage the surface below. For a tight fit in the corner, trim off two sides. Corner pedestal may also be turned upside down. Tabs are not used on pedestals placed at corners of the deck. Remove two tabs from pedestals along the perimeter. Tabs may be removed with a hacksaw or hammer in the long direction. Pedestals and wood tiles are attached using an anchor, washer, and screw. Prepare pedestals by inserting the anchor prior to installation. Attachment to pedestals is not necessary when installing stone or hydro-pressed concrete pavers. Adjust and prepare pedestals for tile installation. Utilize rubber shims with wood tiles to buffer sound. Install tiles and check for level. 
Adjust pedestals as needed by rotating the top or base. Refer to the tile and paver cutting video of this series for perimeter wood tile cuts. The bison wood tiles are slotted for easy assembly. Insert the bison FS1 washer and screw in place. Keep washer loose. Fully tighten after adjacent tiles are installed. Fully tighten screw. Tap tiles and pedestals with rubber mallet for tight fit. Utilize additional pedestals as needed to assure a firm foundation. Check for level and fine tune pedestals during installation. Snap guidelines on the perimeter wall to mark the pedestal height using a string level. A laser level may also be utilized for this purpose. Adjust perimeter pedestals to guideline. When installing tiles in the roof field, first install a T pattern. Larger decks should reference substrate guidelines to assure square layout. Smaller decks may assure a square layout by measuring out 3 feet and 4 feet, then checking for 5 feet. Field tiles may be installed out from either side of the T-pattern, allowing two or more people to install deck tiles at the same time. Securing wood tiles along a curved wall requires many special pedestal placements and attachments. Refer to the Special Considerations and Applications video in this series for more information.